Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another Philippines train here, and we're going to be building this PNR hybrid electric train. And this train can run off diesel or from electricity. And one of the cars is actually full of the electrical equipment and batteries on the front here. So let's get right into the build now. So we're going to start off with the front wheels. So take out a block of netherite. We're going to put a netherite on the rail. Then on the upper hip box, a stone brick slab. And then a netherite on this rail. Behind it on the upper hip box, we're going to go five wide of stone brick slabs. Behind that, three wide in the middle. Behind that, five wide again. Back here, we'll put a netherite wheel on each rail and a slab in the middle again. Then we'll come through and put a skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then we're going to take smooth quartz block, three across the front and three across the back here. On the front, an upside down smooth quartz stair facing outward here. Then five upside down stairs across the front and one facing outward here. So we make sure they wrapped around these corners. Then back here, we'll put an upside down outward facing smooth quartz slab here, and we'll make a row of them. That's 12 blocks long in total. Once you have 12 blocks, we'll put three smooth quartz across this end. And same thing on this side, a row of 12 upside down smooth quartz stairs. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to do the rear truck for the front car. So same as before, take out a block of netherite and we're going to put one on each rail. Then a stone brick slab in the middle. Then five wide on the upper hip box of stone brick slabs behind it. Then three wide, then five wide. Then a slab in the middle and a netherite on each side come through and put a skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels and a birch fence gate in the middle there. Same thing here. And actually I forgot the fence gates on the front one. So put a fence gate here and one on this side here. Then come down to the back again here and do two rows of three smooth quartz in the middle and two upside down smooth quartz stairs on either side facing outward. Then we're going to skip one block back from this here. And we're going to do two rows of three smooth quartz block in the middle. And an upside down smooth quartz stair on either side. So it's two blocks long like that. So there's a gap in the middle. Then behind this, a set of netherite wheels on each rail. In the middle, stone brick slabs. Behind it, five wide of stone brick slabs, then three wide, then five wide again. Then a slab in the middle, and another right wheel on each side. Same as before, put a skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels, and a birch fence gate on the center of each side here. Behind this, put three smooth quartz blocks in the middle, and then on the outside, we're gonna do a line of eight upside down, smooth quartz stairs. Then three smooth quartz at this end, and same thing on this side, eight upside down stairs facing outward on this side. Then behind it, another right wheel on each rail, stone brick slab in the middle, then five wide of stone brick slabs, then three wide, then five wide. Then a slab in the middle, and another right wheel on each rail. Same as before, a skeleton skull on all four wheels, and a birch fence gate in the middle of each side. Behind this, two rows of three smooth quartz in the middle and two upside down smooth quartz stairs on either side. And now our base is done here. And we'll come back up front. On top of the front here, we're gonna go five wide with light gray concrete. 
then one on either side behind it. Behind that, we'll do five upside down smooth court stairs on each side above the truck here. Then behind this, on this rectangle, we're gonna put a single smooth quartz block in all four of the corners of this rectangle. And then across this middle gap, a full row of light gray concrete on each side. Then behind this, five upside down smooth court stairs above the truck on each side. Then we'll do two light gray concrete on either side and come across the back of this car with it. Then come across here, then one on each side. Then five upside down smooth court stairs above the truck on each side. And then again, we're gonna put a single smooth quartz block in all four of the corners of this rectangle. And then we fill this side gap with light gray concrete on each side. Then five upside down smooth court stairs over the truck again. Then two light gray concrete on each side and come across the back. Then we're gonna take a polished deep slate slab on the middle right here and then come in between the cars and put one on the middle right here. Under it, we're gonna put a birch fence gate and then come back here and a birch fence gate under this one. Then on this side of it, a mangrove fence gate. On this side of it, a spruce fence gate. Then do the same thing between the cars. So a mangrove fence gate here and on this side, a spruce fence gate. Then we're gonna take out acacia buttons. We're gonna come up on the side here, put one button here, one on the back here. Then one here, and one here. And then we repeat that on the other side. One button here, one here, one here, and one on the front right here. Now come on top of the front here and we'll do two rows of five light blue concrete coming across. Then behind it on each side above this smooth court section, we'll do a row of light gray concrete to the back of that section on each side. Then above this light gray concrete, we'll do a full row of light blue concrete on each side. And then above this back, smooth court section, we'll do a row of light gray concrete on each side above that. And then come down and around this back with light blue concrete. Repeat it here, so down and around this with light blue, then light gray across this smooth court section on each side, then light blue across here on each side, then light gray across this smooth court section, and then come down and around the back with light blue concrete. Just like that. And we'll come back up front. Now come on top of the front here and put five light blue stained glass panes across the front, five light blue concrete behind it. Behind that, on either side, we're gonna do a column of two light blue concrete. Then on either side up here, a prismarine brick stair three light gray stained glass panes in the middle, three light gray stained glass blocks behind it. Then another stair on either side of the top and three light gray stained glass panes behind that and three light gray stained glass blocks behind here. Then a light blue concrete on either side of the top. Then we're gonna come under this on the bottom, do three light blue concrete coming back and then on the end up two. Fill this with light gray stained glass blocks. And then repeat that exactly across to this side here. Behind this, on this outside edge, we'll do eight light blue concrete coming back, and then two doors. And then light blue to the very back of this car. On the back, we're gonna put a light blue right here, light gray stained glass block, light blue concrete, and then copy that pattern over to this side. 
making sure our doors line up exactly the same. Then we'll take out light gray stained glass blocks, a full row here, a full row to the back here, come across the back, a full row here, and then a full row here. Then we'll do another layer of glass. So come all the way across the top to the back, then all the way across here, and then all the way across this side. So it looks like this. And actually, at the back here, I messed up. We're gonna take out these two corner ones and put in light blue concrete, and same thing on this side. Then we'll start here, two on each side, two up here on each side, and fill the rest with light gray stained glass. Copy that exact pattern at this end of the car. Just like that. Now we'll come on this outside edge and do nine light blue concrete coming forward right here. Same thing here. Then in front of it on each side we'll put two doors. And then fill the rest of this on each side with light blue concrete. Then go back to light gray stained glass blocks. Fill in here and here. Then here and over here. And then go ahead and fill this whole top outside edge with light gray stained glass blocks as well. And same thing over here, a full row up here. Just like that. Now take out prismarine brick slabs up here, come five across, and then we're going to come all the way around the outside edge of the car. So all the way down to the back here, across the back, and all the way up this side. And then we'll do the same thing for the second car. We're going to go all the way around the top outside edge of this with prismarine brick slabs. Just like that. Now take out an item frame. We're going to put one here, then one here on this back car, and same thing on this side, one here, and one here. On the front car, we're going to come up in front of the doors, and we're going to leave a gap of two blocks, and on the third block from the door, an item frame here. Then one under this column here. Same thing on this side, one under this column, and one right here. Then right here, do a warp sign and type hybrid. Skip a block, another sign with electric. Skip a block, another sign with train. Hit all three of those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll come to this side, put a sign right here, type hybrid. Skip a block, type electric. Skip a block, type train. And hit all three of those with white dye and a glow exact. Now on the front here in the middle, put a polished deep slate slab here and a birch fence gate under it. Above it, we're going to put three wither skeleton skulls in the center. And above that, we'll do a warp sign with hybrid, a sign with electric, and a sign with train. Hit all three of those with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll come up on this very top middle on this slab and put a warp sign. And we're going to do two sets of parentheses and hit that with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we need to make some banners. So we're going to come into a loom with a gray banner and red dye, put a horizontal on bottom. Go to yellow dye, horizontal in the middle and on top. Go to gray dye and do this triangle across it, and then a gray border. Then a new gray banner, yellow dye, horizontal on the top and middle, and a red horizontal on bottom. Go to gray dye, do the opposite gray triangle, and then a gray border on it. Then do a light blue banner and white dye, 
put a circle in the middle, go to black dye, and put a black in each of the top corners, and then a black in each of the bottom corners. Then these gray and yellow and red ones are for the headlights, and we'll put one on each side here and here. Then this other one is for the logos, and we're going to put one on each of these item frames all the way down the train. Then we'll come to this side, put one on each of these item frames all the way down the train. Now we're going to come down inside here with a block of clay. And we're going to come at this level here and we're going to go three wide with clay and we're going to fill this whole floor in down to the other end with clay. So it's at the same level as the doors there. Right down to the back here. And then we'll do the same thing in this second car. Three wide with clay right here. And fill this whole floor in end to end with clay in this one. Just like that. Then we're going to come back up into the front car where the cab is. Right here, we're going to put three clay, three oak slabs. Then a glow item frame on either side with end crystals, a lever in the middle. Then a prismarine brick stair right here for the driver's seat. Then we need to take out doors. And we need to put iron door on either side, oak door in the middle. Then up here, We'll grab smooth quartz and put three of them across the top. I'm just checking to make sure we have enough room to get into this cab and we're good to go. Then we need to grab iron bars here. And on either side of the door, we're going to put three iron bars. And then same thing on this side. Then we're going to put three iron bars in each of these back corners. And then we need to grab a lightning rod here. And we're going to put a sideways lightning rod right here. Then we'll do the same thing here. Three iron bars in each corner. And a sideways lightning rod in the middle. And same thing at this end. Three iron bars in each corner. Sideways lightning rod in the middle. Then three iron bars on either side of this door and three iron bars on either side of this door. Then take prismarine stairs in this back car for the seats, a full row of inward facing stairs on each side like this, and same thing back here, a full row of inward facing stairs on each side like this. Then we're gonna come in and grab some end rods. And an observer. Above each of these doors, we're going to put two horizontal end rods to light it. Come in the front car, and we'll do the same thing. Two horizontal end rods above each door. Then this front car is actually the power car, so there's no seats. It's all batteries. So we're going to do two rows of observers here facing this way. Same thing on this side, two rows of observers facing this way. Come behind here and do the same thing two full rows of observers facing inwards here and two full rows of observers facing inwards here. Then above the observers we're going to put a full row of iron bars up here and across here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of iron bars here and across here. Now we'll come outside up top here and we'll do three light blue concrete across right here. And we're gonna fill this whole roof in, three wide, with light blue concrete to the back of this car. And then we'll do the same thing on the second car, three wide with light blue concrete there, and fill this whole roof in with light blue concrete.
to the back of this second car. Just like that. Then we're going to come on top of this first cab car and we're going to take polished diorite slabs and we're going to align with the back door and put a slab on each side. Skip a block forward, a slab on each side. In front of this, we're going to skip one block forward and go three wide of prismarine brick slabs. And then we're going to make that five blocks long. Then up here, two polished diorite slabs in the middle. And then behind this, go to prismarine brick slabs, three across. Then two deep slate tile slabs in the middle, two prismarine brick on either side. And behind it, a three by four prismarine brick slabs. Then the top of this car is different because it's not a power car. On either side of this doorway up here, we're going to make a 3x3 three three of polished diorite slabs like this. Then three deep slate tile slabs on either end. Then three polished diorite on either end. Then a single polished diorite in the middle here. And one in the middle here. And this completes the build for our single cab power car and our coach car here. What we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build more of these. So we have the cab power car and then we need a total of three coach cars and then another cab car at this end facing the opposite way here. So there's a total of five cars. Now this back cab car is not a power car like the front one. So we need to take all the slabs off the roof of it here. Because this cab car is just a normal passenger car with a cab on it. Only the other end is the power car. So go ahead and take all these slabs off here. So we're going to come on top on either side of where the door is and we'll do a 3x3 three three of polished diorite slabs on each side. Then three deep slate tile slabs, three polished diorite slabs, and same thing here. Then a polished diorite slab in the middle here and here. Then we're going to have to modify the interior of this because like I said this isn't a power car so we have to take out all these batteries. So we're going to take out all of these observers and the iron bars coming across the top. And same thing on this side, take off all the iron bars on top and out all of these observers. Then we'll take prismarine brick slabs and do a row facing inward here and a row facing inward here for the seats. Then we'll repeat it at the back end of the car. So we got to take off all the iron bars except leave this back one. And then same thing up here, leave that back one, take out all these iron bars. And then same as before, we're going to take out all the observers. over here take out all the observers. Then we'll put a full row of inward facing prismarine brick stairs on either side for the seats. And now we've successfully modified this car into a passenger car how it's supposed to be. And now I'm just now realizing I forgot the banners for the doors which I should have done before I copied everything in. So we're going to have to come up and make some banners. So come into a loom with a light gray banner and light blue dye. Put a vertical on the left and another one with the vertical on the right. And then the bottom half of both of those light blue. Then we'll do one with the vertical on the left and a horizontal on top. Then one with the vertical on the right and a horizontal on top. And this will be tedious, but we're going to have to crouch 
and we're gonna place the ones with the bottom half blue facing each other like this on every set of door on both sides of the train. And then once we've done all those, we're going to take the other banners and place them facing each other above each set of doors. So it looks like that. And just go through and do that above every set of doors all the way down the train. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then, once we have that done, we've completed our build here. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Philippines Hybrid Electric Train. I hope everyone enjoyed this build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.